So, yung lesson natin ngayon is about systems of linear inequalities in two variables. So, mag-graph tayo ng systems ng linear inequalities in two variables. Lagi natin tatandaan na ang system of linear inequalities in two variables consists of at least two linear inequalities in the same variables. The solution of a linear inequality is the ordered pair that is a solution to all inequalities in the system. And the graph of the linear inequality is the graph of all solutions of the system. So, anong ibig niyang sabihin? Pakita natin sa isang example. So, example, graph the system of inequalities y is less than or equal sa 2x minus 3 at yung isa ay y is greater than or equal sa x plus 1. So, para i-graph natin itong dalawang inequalities na to o yung system na to hanapin muna natin yung mga intercepts ng bawat isa. So, unahin natin yung y is less than or equal sa 2x minus 3. Okay, so itong inequality symbol ay palitan natin ng equal symbols. Symbol. So, magiging y equals 2x minus 3. So, dahil intercepts yung ating hahanapin, start muna tayo sa paghanap ng x-intercept. Kapag hinahanap si x-intercept, ibig sabihin ang ating y ay equal siya sa 0. So, ang ating equation ay y is equal to 2x minus 3. Sa so, substitute lang natin ang 0 doon sa y. So, 0 is equal to 2x minus 3. Magpa plus 3 tayo on both sides. So, magkakaroon tayo ng 2x. Ito magiging 0 na to. Na to. So, 0 plus 3 ay 3. So, divided by 2, both sides. So, this is 2 divided by 2 ay 1. So, may iwan na lang ay x. So, 3 halves. Ang ating x-intercept ay 3 over 2 or 1.5. Ngayon, para makuha naman yung ating y-intercept, ibig sabihin, ang ating x ay equal siya sa 0. So, y is equal to 2x minus 3. So, copy y. 2 times, isa substitute natin yung 0. So, si simplify natin, 2 times 0 ay 0 minus 3. So, 0 minus 3 ay negative 3. So, we already obtained the y-intercept and the x-intercept of the first inequality. Sunod natin yung second inequality. We have y is greater than or equal sa x plus 1. So, iti-change natin yung inequality symbol sa equal sign. So, Kaya nang ginawa natin sa una, pag ginahanap si x-intercept, ang ating y ay equal siya sa 0. So, y is equal to x plus 1. Substitute lang natin sa so 0 is equal to x plus 1. Magma-minus 1 tayo sa parehong side. So, this is 0 minus 1 ay negative 1. Ibig sabihin, ang ating x-intercept ay negative 1. Para naman kay y-intercept, so, ang y-intercept natin, ibig sabihin, ang ating x ay 0. So, isa substitute lang natin siya sa ating equation na y equals x plus 1. So, y is equal to 0 plus 1. So, therefore, ang ating y-intercept ay positive 1. We can now locate the intercept sa ating Cartesian plane. So, ilocate natin si x-intercept na 1.5. So, ibig sabihin, nandito si 1.5 sa x-intercept. At si y-intercept na negative 3, nandito siya. Okay, connecting the two intercepts by a solid boundary line. Dahil ang ating inequality, kung makikita ninyo, ay less than or equal. Okay, so, i-coconnect natin siya gamit ang solid boundary line. Okay, so after we connect the two points by solid boundary line, magtetest tayo ng point kung alin dito yung shade natin para sa ating unang inequality. So, halimbawa, 
Magtetest tayo ng point above ng ating boundary line. Let's say this one, this point, na merong 1, 1, ang ordered pair natin. So, testing po tayo. Okay. So, ang ating inequality is y is less than or equal sa 2x minus 3. At ang itetest nating point ay 1, comma 1. Kailang masatisfy niya ang ating inequality. So, isa-substitute na lang natin. Y is less than or equal sa 2 times ang x natin ay y minus 3. So, 1 is less than or equal sa 2 minus 3. So, 1 is less than or equal sa negative 1. So, ito, base dito, this is actually false. Ibig sabihin, ang pag-shade natin ay nasa baba, below the boundary line. So, yung itong area na to na shade natin, ito yung magiging solutions nung ating inequality na y is less than or equal sa 2x minus 3. So, ito yung ating y is less than or equal sa 2x minus 3. Okay? Ngayon, isunod naman natin yung ating pangalawang inequality. So, ang ating pangalawa, meron tayong negative 1 na x-intercept. So, nandito siya. Pangat, uh, yung ating y-intercept na positive 1, nandito. Okay, so, pag i-coconnect natin, ating point. So, meron na tayong solid boundary line. Bakit solid boundary line ulit ang ating ginamit? Kasi ang ating inequality symbol ay uh, greater than or equal. So, isi-shade na natin ang ating uh, appropriate half plane. So, itetest ulit natin yung ating point. So, same point din ang itetest natin since kung makikita ninyo, ito yung boundary line natin nasa baba siya. Tignan natin kung masasatisfy niya yung ating inequality. So, y is greater than or equal sa x plus 1. Itetest natin yung 1, 1 or 1, 1 na ating point. So, 1 is greater than or equal sa 1 plus 1. So, 1 is greater than or equal sa 2. And this is false. So, ibig sabihin, ang ating shaded portion ay nasa taas. Ngayon, kung mapapansin nyo, kapag in-extend natin, Yung line, yung unang line natin dito, may intersection doon. Okay? Kapag kinulayan din natin siya, dito. Ayan. Pag mag -extend. Okay? So, itong portion na to, yan ang ating area ng ating y is greater than or equal sa x plus 1. Pero hindi lang dyan yung ating shaded portion. Kailangan half. The entire half plane ang pag-shade. The entire half plane. Yan. Okay. So, yan po yung paano mag-shade or paano mag-graph ng ating systems of inequalities. Ngayon, kung mapapansin ninyo, uh, there will be a portion here na mag-overlap yung shading. Yung shading. So, kapag in-extend natin yung line pa natin, in-extend pa natin yung line, may portion dito na area na nagpatong yung dalawang kulay. Yung dalawang, yung kulay na nagpatong na yun, yun yung magiging solutions ng ating inequalities. So, sa pangalawang example natin, ipapakita natin yung area na nagpatong yung kulay, yung ating shaded regions, na kung saan yun yung magiging solutions ng ating inequalities.